All right? Shalom, shalom. Our praises, honor, glory be unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the old apostles, the great millstone, and salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Coming at you again with another quick lesson. Um, spirit is heavy, and you saw Edom right now, so I'm just going to go with the spirit. But this Babylon is great. Let's identify her. It and them that rule it. Okay? <laughs> Start off with one of the hardest cuts, man. Because the Lord compares them both together. All right? Matter of fact, I was supposed to add another one in there. Hold on. Let me pull this up real quick before I get that first one. All right. Psalms 137 and 7. Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, race it, race it, which is destroy it. All right. Even to the foundations thereof. O daughter of Babylon. There you go. It just identified Esau Edom as the daughter of Babylon. Not ancient Babylon, the daughter of Babylon. All right. It's called the daughter of Babylon because it came after Babylon the Great. All right? This new Babylon. Okay? Who art to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. And what did the Lord say in um, Revelations 18? All right? Give her double. Matter of fact, let's get that. Let's get that. Let's prove it again. Revelations 18 and 6. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. that's why I should have brought back. Oh, I should have brought this back out in the last lesson about the Lord ain't going to quit the wicked. All right. Revelations 18 and, uh, and 5. For her sins have reached into heaven, and Yahweh have remembered her iniquities. Who's this her? Babylon the Great, right? That great city. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works. In the cup which uh, she had filled, fill into her double. So let's go back to this. Happy shall he be that reward of thee as thou hast served us. So payback is coming. The same Babylon the Great that spoke about in Revelation 17, Revelation 18, her, she, this great harlot, just got compared to Esau Edom. They're one and the same. One and the same, man. Same group of people. Not the ancient Babylonians. Not the ancient Hamites. All right? Not them. All right? Zechariah 2 and 6. Ho, ho, come forth and flee from the land of the north. Say if you how. For I have spread you abroad the four winds of heaven. When did that happen? All right? Now, all 12 tribes got scattered all across the earth. You can find it out in Peter's, James, so on and so forth. All right? Saith the Lord, deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. Now, when it's speaking of Zion, it's talking about all the tribes of Israel, man. Not just the southern kingdom. All right? Because by the time, um, by the time Babylon came came on the scene, Assyria, the, uh, uh, the captivity of Assyria had already came and gone. And where did the majority of the northern kingdom go after Assyrian captivity? To the other side of the earth. So how was Zion dwelling with the daughter of Babylon? Over here in America, that land of the north, north sides, man. Okay? Babylon the Great. If you niggas ain't got the spirit to identify who Babylon the Great is, fuck you and die, man. It's really not a mystery no more. Now, if it's here, it's here to you niggas that's lost. But it's, it's very plain and simple to see who Babylon the Great is. Who's the daughter of Babylon? Okay? Now, let's get this. When Zion, all the, you know, north and south of the kingdom dwelt with the daughter of Babylon. Let's get the account. Jeremiah 16 and 15. Behold, Yahweh liveth. All right? That brought up the children of Israel from the land in the north and from all the lands where he have driven them and will bring them 
out unto their land that I have gave their fathers. All right? Where is that land of the north? Because this is dealing with our salvation. This ain't dealing with our salvation from ancient Babylon. This is dealing with a new salvation, man. All right? Because it says from all the, all the lands we've been scattered. That didn't happen in ancient Babylon. If that was the case, northern kingdom would have got scooped up from over uh, from uh, the North America during that time. That didn't happen. All right? It's going to talk about now. But let's get some more, let's get some more scriptures on it. Jeremiah 3 and 18. In those days, the house of Judah shall walk with the house of Israel. When did that happen? When did that happen? Sounds like two sticks coming back together, right? All right, let's read some more. And they shall come out of the land of the north to the land which I have given them for inheritance unto their fathers. So we're going to come out this land together. Via what? The great salvation that was just read about in Jeremiah 16 and 15. The Lord is going to gather us from all these lands. But that vocal part of the salvation is going to come from Babylon, the great, that, that same place where this great judgment is going to happen. That's why it says, deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwelleth with the door of Babylon, man. Because Babylon is going to go down. Basra will be destroyed. T men will be set on fire. Okay? So let's get one of the hardest accounts. Jeremiah 50 and 33. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. Not in ancient Babylon. New Babylon. Daughter of Babylon. Hence, that's why Jeremiah 3 and 18 says they're going to come out the land of the north together. They're going to walk together. Walk together in what? Righteousness. All right? Them two sticks coming back together, right? Same as Jeremiah 16 and 15, all right? The Lord is going to gather all the children of Israel. Hint, back to that Zechariah 2 and 6. O Zion, all right? Who is Zion? That's all the Israelites, man. That's all the Israelites. That dwelleth with who? The daughter of Babylon. So these, these, hey, Jeremiah 3 and 8, Jeremiah 16 and 15, and Jeremiah 50 and 33 tells you where this place is at, where it happened at, all right? Let's go through history. Let's read the facts. Northern kingdom wasn't in Babylon the Great. So obviously, by a, a process of elimination, and if you're really spiritual, you will understand what these scriptures are actually going into. If you have the spiritual eye to see afar off. All right. This is talking about America. OK. It says the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together and all that took them captives, held them fast and they refused to let them go. Their redeemer is strong. Yahweh host is his name. And he shall thoroughly plead their cause. <laughs> the Lord's going to plead they call, uh, the, uh, our cause by fire. And when this place gets destroyed, thus is our salvation. Simultaneously, it's going to go hand in hand together. All right? That he may give rest to the land and describe it, the inhabitants of Babylon. The Lord is going to blow this place to fucking hell. All right? Literal hell is going to be set on fire, man. Yeah, you guys think this is hell now? Wait till you see them flames, man. And I pray to you, how about your mouth shy? That we see the flames, but from above. <laughs> all right, if you get what I'm saying, all right? That we get to see this death and destruction like Psalms 91 speaks about, man. Hopefully that fire don't come near us, man. But uh, that great lake is going to be America. That's how it's going to look, man. Okay? Uh, Revelation 17 and 2. With whom the kings of the earth has committed fornication. You know what proves that? Look at all these tariffs going on. Why is the economy so fucked up once America want to put tariffs on everybody? You ever wonder that? Why? Because this is the merchant city, man. <laughs> I'm kind of getting angry because a lot of you niggas be simple about this topic, man. But a lot of you niggas ain't out there. A lot of you niggas ain't even scoffing no more, man. It's been about six weeks. And that's an inside joke between me and Yasharala. Them niggas ain't nowhere to be fucking found, man. All right? The same niggas that say Babylon the Great ain't America. Where them niggas at? Hmm? Exactly. Okay? But back to this. And the inhabitants of the earth were made drunk with her wine and her fornication. Hey, all her doctrine, all her uh, democracy, all her fucking ways of life. All right? That's why, hey, that's why Esau Edom always sets um, phony ass 
dictators up in these countries to run Esau Edom's program. And then if, if that dictator don't do what he's supposed to do, what do Esau do? Overthrow him, try to throw a coup, something like that. All right, same thing that he's trying to do in fucking China. All right. <laughs> now he's so he uh, so he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon the scarlet colored beast, full of names of blasphemies, having seven heads and ten horns, which just goes into his whole system, his pit, that that, that Roman Empire coming back. All right, um, that same system. All right. NATO, you win. Who sits at the top of that? Who controls that beast? All right? Esau Edom. Because not only is he the actual dragon, all right, but what actual nation, country controls that beast? America. It is the hammer of the earth. Who else would it be? Okay? And the woman arrayed in purple, scarlet colors, decked with gold, precious stones, pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. So all her wickedness that she spread, man. And upon her forehead was given, uh, I mean, was, um, was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots, uh, the abominations of the earth, not the Roman Catholic Church. Dum-dums. All right? I don't care how fucking deep y'all think y'all is. Y'all pieces of shit. Straight up, man. And the Lord is going to judge you for your blasphemies, man. Just like you're going to judge this bitch. Hey, you're, hey, you're just like this bitch. You're over your father, the devil, man. All right? And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints. That's all the Israelites. Hmm. North, the, basically the Americas. The same place where Judah and Israel were oppressed together. That's why this, hey, why it says this harlot was drunk with the blood of her saints. What happens over here? We're slaughtered all the day long, man. Especially over here on this side, man. By the hands of Esau Edom. Over here in America, man. And with the blood of the marches of Yahweh Shai. And I saw her and I wondered with great admiration. All right? Now, let's find out this bitch's outcome. Isaiah 34 and 6. And the sword of Yahweh is filled with blood. It is made fat with the fatness, with the blood of lambs and goats, and the fat of the kidneys of rams. For Yahweh have a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. That's spiritually talking about America, man. All right? That sword being bathed in heaven. The Lord is about to take this place out, man. And eventually take all you Edomites out, man. Simply put. All right? Hey, Babylon the Great, hey, this place is about to go down, man. It's going to be destroyed, turned into a damn desert. Okay? Hey, let's get some more about that. Let's jump to Isaiah 63 and 1. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments of Basra? Once again, they go hand in hand. This is talking about a place that is glorious in its apparel, traveling in the greatness of its salvation. Hmm. Isaiah 47 and 3, I should not meet thee as a man. Where do you think Yahweh Shai going to crack them clouds at? Our great salvation. He going to destroy this place and save us. So when the rest of the world is saying, who is this that coming from America? That just destroyed America. That, that's how it's going to be, man. That's exactly how it's going to be. All you people that thought nobody can make war with uh, 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 this beast, and things of that nature, the Lord's gonna blow this woman right off, uh, right off, right off the top of the beast, and then destroy the beast itself, which is Esau's whole system, man. All right, his whole system. Hey, America's gonna be destroyed. NATO, UN, all that shit is gonna get smoked. All right. Simply put, I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. So the Lord is gonna be destroying. And saving at the same time. Where's that vocal point of the salvation going to come from? America. Where's that vocal point of the destruction going to come from? America. Thus, you know America is Babylon the Great. And if you don't get it, so what? I pray and hope that the elect 
has got some understanding on this and is edified. And all of that, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to thee, all the apostles of great millstone, and salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Abad Babal.